Hey guys, recently I was fortunate enough to attend an advanced screening of Cinderella due to the kindness of friends, who when they found out they won extra tickets to a movie clearly targeted for little girls, immediately thought of me. Thank you. I had heard some pretty good buzz about this film, so I expected a pretty good film, but I really, really like this movie. Cinderella is an amazing and gorgeous film, and it reminded me of a type of storytelling that I didn't even realize I missed. Cinderella follows the classic tale that we know and love very closely. It doesn't try to reimagine it or darken it like other recent live action remakes. All of the beats in the original tale are still there, but it's been filled out. We learn additional details about these very familiar characters. While it does have fantastical elements, the plot makes sense and it builds the characters well. It's directed by Kenneth Branagh who directed Thor. Now that might give you pause, but if you look into his filmography, he's directed a lot of Shakespeare stories and that seemed to have been really good practice for this film. One of my favorite movies is actually Pride and Prejudice with Keira Knightley. First of all, because it was a great looking film. But the dialogue was so elegant and well written and I really felt transported to another world. Cinderella reminded me of Pride and Prejudice. It's set in kind of a similar looking world, but because it is a fairy tale, the design and the set pieces just go all out because they're only limited by what the directors and producers can imagine. The costume design in this film is phenomenal. You will find yourself just staring in awe at everybody's clothing because the colors are popping out or there's just glints of diamonds everywhere. Swarovski diamonds provided all the crystals that you see in all the dresses and it looks great. The dancing scene with all of these uniquely designed dresses just flowing and glistening as they're swaying, it was just breathtaking. I am calling it right now now, Cinderella 2015 is going to win some kind of award for best costume. This film tries to push this idea of goodness, and in our age, it's hard to find a film that tries to convey such a pure message. I'll be honest, I was fighting it. All of these altruistic characters and good heart seemed like it would be cheesy or at worst, really fake. But very quickly, I found myself giving in. I accepted that in this world, some people are just pure good and it gave me a sense of hope. That might sound a little lame, but this is a fairy tale and man, it's also very nostalgic. Some people might groan or sigh at the message, but I think this is what movies are for. I don't think any regular romance movies are very realistic at all. And the message that this movie tries to portray is very relevant and has truth and it's important that we are reminded of it every once in a while. All of the actors do a fantastic job. I fell in love with Cinderella, played by Lily James. She isn't just another really, really pretty face. She also has a good heart. Richard Madden plays the prince, and you can tell that he's really smitten by Cinderella. Again, not just for her looks, but because of her personality. And that's what I like about this version. It basically has the exact same plot as the animated Disney version, but all the things it's added, the character development, the setting, only makes this a more complete film. We also get to dive a little deeper into other characters' relationship, like that of the prince and his father, and we also get to see a little bit of why the stepmother is so resentful of Cinderella. The stepmother is played by Kate Blanchett, who is always very, very good. The film Cinderella is gorgeous and surprisingly touching. I definitely teared up at a part or two or three, and the message is very positive. I think anybody can enjoy this film, even if you're a 26 year old man going with a group of girls. I give Cinderella an A. Thank you for sticking around and watching a grown man talk about Cinderella for probably too long. What's your favorite fairy tale? Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Peace. Kobe Bryant's News is a new documentary by Showtime and it's all about Kobe Bryant.